Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Beck. Um, I just kind of wanted to go through some stuff on our weekly video today and uh, just giving you some updates on uh, things that are going on and uh, some assignments and hopefully offer you guys some words of encouragement today. Um, uh, first of all, I hope that all of you are doing doing well. I hope that everybody's uh, I hope that everybody's staying busy and and as active as you can be uh, while we're under this uh, sit and stay order still. Um, hopefully, the end of that is coming up soon. Here we'll have to wait and watch the news for that. But listen, I just wanted to uh, do this quick video and just encourage you guys all um, all my students in grades six and seven. Um, at Grandport here just to make sure that you guys uh, finish strong and do your best okay uh, you know I don't want you to get overwhelmed the last thing I would ever want is for you guys to be overwhelmed and just to feel like you're you know hopeless and, and really I don't want you to feel bummed out about the work that we're giving so I want to encourage you to finish strong don't get stressed don't get overwhelmed with this work um, and you know once again as I've always said in previous emails and correspondence you know, if you have questions or need help, please, you know, don't hesitate to reach out and ask me questions. Uh, I would love to be able to help you. Um, but just real quick, also, um, with regards to uh, student work, uh, you know, not only do I want you to not get overwhelmed, I want to make sure that you're doing your best to just stay on some type of a routine and doing your best uh to just make sure you're you're getting the work done um, and if you feel like it's a lot you know you shouldn't just try to do one assignment at a time one thing at a time and try to knock things off your to-do list and try to stay on some type of a routine especially where uh, you know your sleep patterns are concerned okay and I think that that's really really important and, and during our time off you know from school or where we're not physically at school I would just also wanted to encourage a lot of you guys to you know, really think about, you know, think about your talents and abilities, um, just like your natural talents and abilities. And I wanted to encourage you to try to do things, uh, you know, try to do things that enhance those and, uh, you know, make sure that you're thinking about that. Um, you know, try to develop your talents and abilities uh, to the to the best that you can while we're off and, and think about that uh, because those talents and abilities can eventually you know, maybe now and later on in life be used to help other people. Um, so learn as much as possible when we're off. Try to get smarter. Try to increase your knowledge. Okay. Um, now this week's work, um, uh, actually you could see it right back here on the board. Okay. I'll get the board down in just a minute. This week's work is pretty straightforward. Uh, what it comes down to is uh, you have a couple workbook pages and, and another assignment that I'll, I'll cover real, real quick here. Uh, the first thing uh, uh, is uh, is kind of like taken from your student workbook. The title of it is uh, Europe Before the 1700s, and it's just a couple workbook pages. And you would do this the same way that you would do it in class. You know, you just go through, do the reading, and answer the questions, okay? Um, uh, number two, uh, this is actually uh, an article in questions, okay? So uh, the title of this assignment is called Monotheism, uh, in world religions and actually in ancient civilizations we're supposed to be going over uh, a lot of the major world religions so that's why the emphasis on this but for you folks in geography um, it's important too so you know the basics and there's also some geographical information in this article as well so you have to read through the article and uh, ultimately answer the questions okay uh, the article goes over some of the major world religions and some of the basics but um, at the heart of the article is something that we've discussed in class before, uh, uh, the issue of monotheism versus polytheism. Um, now, real quick here, as you can see here, uh, monotheism is basically where you're worshiping uh, only one God, okay? And some examples of this, of course, would be things like uh, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, as it is to, going to discuss in the article, okay? Now, a different form is uh, polytheism. We've also discussed this in class. That's where you're looking at worshiping many gods in uh, you know, uh, religions like probably Buddhism and you know, Hinduism, and I could name other examples too, would probably be under this category, okay? So for that assignment, it's an article in questions, okay?
okay, only five questions. And uh, lastly, uh, another workbook assignment, uh, it just involves U.S. history. It's basically, it's involving some history and some geography combined into one assignment uh, with the subject matter being uh, U.S., United States, okay? Um, and, you know, once again, to kind of move, move things along here, because I want to keep this video kind of short and to the point, um, there's a few ways that you can submit things, just a reminder, uh, in case you have not been paying attention to the previous correspondence, you can either uh, do this on Google Classroom uh, right there, and I'll be able to tell who submits it because your names are linked to your account, uh, or you can uh, take a picture of me of your assignment uh, if you're doing a hard copy format, which you can get from the school or off the eCourse website too. Uh, take a picture, send it to me that way, or if you want to, you can even just type answers into an email and send it to me that way. Uh, any of those methods will be fine. But guys, please don't forget, if you do any of those methods, um, uh, especially the hard copy method, put your name on every single paper so I know who the work is coming from. Um, and uh, obviously, if you ever, ever need any help with any assignments, please don't hesitate to reach out and email me, okay? And just, just let me know what I can do for you. Uh, or if you need me to email you directly and email you assignments that way, um, that's not a problem as well. So just to conclude here, guys, uh, I hope all you're doing well who are watching this video. Um, please stay healthy, stay safe, and, uh, you know, hopefully, um, uh, you know, the end of the school year will bring uh, good things for all of us. And I will talk to you next week.